Happy Cinco de Mayo. On the show today, we're celebrating by making our own homemade strawberry margaritas. Now, Cinco de Mayo is one of my favorite holidays. I'm from California and we celebrate it every single year. And one of the things we do is we have great food and great beverages. So join me as we make strawberry margaritas. So we're gonna start this party off by preparing our glasses. These are our margarita glasses. You don't have to have margarita glasses. You can put them in any kind of glass. It'll still taste the same, right? So let's start it off. Now, I bought this little thing of margarita salt. And technically, you put the salt here and rim your glasses this way. The problem is, I have kind of large margarita glasses and they don't quite fit on there. So we are going to be salting them on the plate. Not everybody likes salt on their margaritas, but to me, the salt makes a margarita. I have no idea why, but when I drink, when I drink a margarita, the salt, like, it just, something about the drink and the salt, it's like a match made in heaven. So, we're gonna take a quick wedge of lime. You wanna use nice, fresh lime juice. And we're going to rim our glass. We're just gonna moisten the glass with the lime. Yay! And we're going to salt our glass. I like a lot of salt. <laughs> One time when I, we were at this um, hotel and I was there with some of my friends and they were trying to figure out what kind of drink to order and I told them, let's get some margaritas on the rocks, just plain lime margaritas. And I said, and we have extra salt on the rims. And we had those drinks and with the salt, my friends were like, wow, I'm just totally re-experiencing the margarita because I didn't really, they didn't realize how powerful the drink is with that salt, how delicious it is. Um, so don't forget that part. So we're gonna rim this glass. Mm, smells good. We're gonna give us some margarita salt. Mm, 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 mm. So our glasses are all salted. Now we're ready to blend our drinks. So what I have here is I have our Kasori blender. We did a full test and review on this blender. I'll put a link down in the description to those videos as well as a link to the blender if you'd like to take a look at it. We have this blender as well as we have a Vitamix. Um, we love both of them. This one's a lot less expensive and you get a lot of the features of the Vitamix. Um, and we're using the Kasori today because I actually really like this blender. Um, we are also using strawberries. Now, we're gonna be using frozen strawberries and what I got from my club store is this frozen bag of organic sliced strawberries. Recently, the new report came out um, about pesticides and strawberries is number one on that list um, again this year. One of the things I can tell you is if it is all possible, get organic strawberries. Strawberries have so many pesticides on them. They tested regular grocery store strawberries and they were the biggest offender of pesticide residue was on strawberries. So make sure you get organic. They're a little bit more expensive, but there's other things we waste our money on all the time. And Ha buying strawberries that are not organic in these day and age is not a good idea. Make sure you get organic. This is a three pound um, bag from my local club store. You can use fresh, of course. So we have four cups of strawberries into the blender. Mm -hmm. Now for the good stuff, right? We're going with tequila. 
and I just have regular silver tequila. One of the things we've talked about before is you don't need a super fancy tequila for a margarita or any blended cocktail like this with a lot of fruit and stuff. You're just wasting high quality um, tequila. You don't want to get really bad tequila, but just get uh, middle of the road. This is 1800. Definitely 100% aguave is the way to go. So we are going with a cup and this is my perfect beaker and I love this thing. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to this as well. Um, let's see, cup, we're going with a cup. Of tequila. Into the blender. <laughs> now we have some triple sec. Triple sec is an orange liqueur. It is a classic margarita uh, ingredient. So our triple sec, we are going with a quarter cup, which is basically two ounces. Into the blender. <laughs> now we're using simple syrup. This is basically just melted uh, sugar in water. It's a one to one ratio. We need um, a half a cup. Basically, we just put it in there, mix it up, heat it up in the microwave. You don't want to overdo it because then you get sugar everywhere inside your microwave, which is a bad thing. So you can do it on the stovetop or in the microwave. Um, makes this thick syrup that's very sweet and very delicious. So we are going to go with a half a cup. And we have a cup and a half here. Eric made me a whole batch. <laughs> That's about right. Next, we have a half a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. Make sure you do freshly squeezed. Makes it delicious. Time for the ice. I got about four cups of ice. We may use all of this. We might not use all of this. It depends on if you're strawberries are frozen, how thick you want it, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to put, my ice is melting a little bit. I'm going to put about half of it in there. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on the blender. We are going to hit on and let her rip. A quick taste. Now this drink is really going to depend on how sweet the strawberries are and all kinds of stuff. Mm. So give it a taste and then adjust it. I want a little bit more strawberry so I'm going to put a couple cups more of strawberry and I want it a little sweeter so I'm going to put another half a cup of simple syrup. You can buy that strawberry margarita mix. It's very sweet. Plus, you don't have any control over the ingredients that they put in there. So, so far, we have six cups of strawberry and one cup of um, simple syrup. Let's get over a rock and roll. Mm. beautiful it looks beautiful look at the consistency on that mm-hmm ole right so let's get this in the glasses okay let's see what we got we have our glasses Woo! beautiful look at that Oh, man. 
you go to the cantina, this is 21 bucks. <laughs> um, at least where we live, 21 bucks will pay for this. So let's give us a little wedge of lime. Mm. Wow. Look what we got here. Let's have a drink. Cheers, guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Mmm. The salt. Mmm. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Nice and smooth. The cassoy did a fabulous job. Um, kind of, kind of cheeky from the lime. Um, that's really, really good. Cheers, guys. I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all your support over the last couple years. Um, there's a lot to come on Amy Learns to Cook. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're going to have some fun stuff. We're going to do some more testing of products. We're going to have a lot more recipes. And um, we're going to have a good time. So cheers. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Give me a comment and a like. Visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook at Amy Learns to Cook. And Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. Cheers. Delicious. It'll taste just the same. Um, you don't have to have margarita glasses. You can put them in any time of 